Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm about here and editing, not very far, honestly, in editing at all. And uh, I thought I might as well say this: that YouTube recently has been pushing out my videos a ton recently. Like I don't know what's going on. Um, I I've been getting a, f uh, a decent amount of new subscribers coming in. So if you're new, what's going on? So right now my PC is pretty bad, but uh, it it's getting there. Uh, I've only got probably maybe about a month until my pc is fully good so until then it's just gonna be lower quality stuff coming out so go ahead leave subscribe leave a like uh this is the minecraft cyclic mod tutorial one of them uh this is the autocrafter tutorial so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one Hey, what's going on, guys? So in this video today, we're going to be doing another cyclic mod tutorial. This mod tutorial is going to be on the autocrafter, how to get everything set up in a legit world, a world that you can craft everything of every single one of these things in. So let's jump right into it. First, we're going to need an energy extraction cable, an energy cable, peat, and a peat fry, uh, fire generator, and a battery. So first what you're going to want to do is place your battery down in any location you feel take a peat fired generator place it any location that you feel and then take as you can see we'll take an energy extraction cable place it there and place a normal cable right there we'll go ahead and change up the transfer right right there so this is a peat fire generator upon putting peat in there it'll fire up and then it's going to uh, give um, Give energy to this through the cable so take the peat put it in there as you can see this is now filled up somewhat and it's gonna take a minute but you know this is slowly basically gaining and losing energy quickly and we can see this bar right here is basically telling us how full it is with that being said we're going to take the energy transfer node place it around here and we're going to take the extraction cable extract it right into there bam as you can see change the extraction rate of that change the extraction rate of this so bam we are now giving energy from this to this to this and from this we now have well to transfer stuff instead of having this battery transferring everything that's just fired up on peat all we have to do lit it up with peat gonna go through a battery process to the energy transfer node this is going to easily allow us to transfer stuff through gps so we're gonna take that gps we're gonna take this we'll go ahead and move some of this stuff out of our way as we don't need it anymore so once you have that go ahead and place down your auto crafter now for those that don't know how to craft it this is how you craft it we have the observer, four pink or purple dyes, a bone block, and a piston will get you this. Not very many people know about the observer, so here is the observer. I, I actually didn't have that block, and there we go. This here is the observer. It's just cobblestone on either side, three across, two redstone, and one quartz to make the observer. So now, once we're here, we're going to grab this uh, GPS marker, hold shift, and right click on our auto uh, on our auto crafter. So we're going to go over here, place the GPS in here, and locate it. Once you've done that, we're now giving energy to this without uh, cables. You can do this through cables. The GPS is just a little bit more of an efficient way to know whether what it's connecting to. Click preview. This work this line will show you what it's connected to if we had another gps and allowed this gps to go in bam it's giving energy to two things and you can see that so we'll go ahead and take that marker out trash that thing right so anyway there we go that is our little layout here so First is the auto crafter. The auto crafter is extremely simple. You place an assortment of items in here, and then the rest of your items over here, and they craft into this. So let's go ahead and make a lot of diamond swords. So with these diamonds and sticks, 
we're going to want to click on this, make it in the crafting table just like you would anything. Ugh. I don't. I don't. With this, you're gonna make it in the crafting table just like you would any. With this, you're gonna make it in the crafting table just like you would any sword. Now, this process is gonna be extremely fast, so keep up. You take whatever of the two materials that you're using, or however many you need, as in, you know, if you're making a shit ton of auto crafters with the auto crafter, you can do that. Anyway, bam, select there, and there we go. It's filling up with diamond swords. Each time I grab a new one, it crafts one out of these materials. So, with that being said, let's get on to the item transfer. Item transferring is extremely simple and easy just like you would think. In this thing, you're going to see that you have GPS locations. So this, at this, I have an item collector. I don't know how to make the item collector, honestly, but you guys can figure that out for yourselves. Should be pretty simple. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and set this item collector right here and enable the preview. This is the preview. This is basically the area that we're gonna be collecting blocks in. I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bit larger so that everything in this area will be collected. Anyway, what I'm gonna want is I want things to extract from this using cables like that. Go ahead and change the transfer rate. This essentially will however many you want transfer at a time you see we have two in here and i actually broke the uh, things earlier and they dropped into here so that is a plus to know that that is working but anyway you're just going to put a chest here in this case i'm gonna get one of the bins this is the ultimate bin you uh this is not in the game this is a mechanism mod so in this case i'm just gonna grab a bin because i don't feel like managing the chest space but you can always get a chest and do this basically double i'll go ahead and do one with the chest so you can see bam it's filling up and there's no more diamond swords to be crafted because we've already crafted all of them let me go ahead and get more materials throw those mats in there and bam there you go our chest is filled up and with the ultimate bin we just place that on top and then bam place a cable to it as you can see i could only craft 37 more swords out of what i had but there you go you guys have the mechanism mod is how you do that uh, that's how bins work and this is how item transferring and the auto crafter works this is a full tutorial also how to get energy without using an infinite battery because i don't think you can get that um so it if you guys need a way to power something, make a peat farm by, well, making a peat farm. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. And I am out.